Now, I'm not a tutorial guy, but I've seen a few videos explaining how to do this before, but I feel like they didn't really go into as much detail as they probably should have and how to get the controller overlay and customization options. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to get a controller overlay for Rocket League using Bacchus Mod and customization options. Now, unfortunately, this will only work for PC players because what we're using is not available on console. All right. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to BacchusMod.com. And for those who don't know what Bacchus Mod is, it is a mod for Rocket League. It allows you to, you know, customize the game, do things to it that you normally can't and it's a really cool thing to have so i suggest downloading it anyway go ahead and do download i already have it so i'm not gonna click that but once you do that you know you got the setup process you can even look up a video on how to set everything up but once you have it installed you're gonna go to plugins search controller overlay and it's this one right here you're gonna hit install with package mod and it tells you what to do here but you hit open plugin manager and this screen will come up it says plugin has been installed you can close that and then it's now installed in your Rocket League. It's very simple. Now, once you're in Rocket League, you hit F2, and that opens up the Backus Mod overlay. And for those who have used Backus Mod before, you know, usually you see your plugins on this tab here. You go to plugins, you have all your plugins here, but you won't find the controller overlay in this plugin menu. What you have to do is go to open plugin manager, and you'll see controller overlay somewhere about right here. And if it's turned off, then you just want to turn that on. And now you should be able to see that down there. And if you are in the main menu, it doesn't show up until you get into free play or into a game. So don't be concerned about that. Just get into a game and you'll see it. Now here are a couple ways to customize it, like making it transparent, changing the size, etc. What you want to do is hit F6, and that should bring up this menu here. And to make it transparent, you want to type in controller transparency. Excuse me for my poor typing. Oh my goodness, hold on. There we go. And the capital T does matter. And then you want to put a space and then 0.0. .0 that's a slash 0, 0.0 that is a dash controller transparency 0, 0.0 the space and capital letters do matter and once you hit that you can see the controller overlay is now transparent now you still got this pesky controller overlay title bar at the top here now you want to get rid of that by going controller title bar and yes the capital letters are still important zero and that it's gone it is gone and to move it you can just pause your game to move around the overlay and you want to drag at a spot where you can so one second okay yeah you have to open up the back spot overlay before you can drag it and where i keep it is about in line with the banner and the ball cam indicator uh, bottom left so let's push that a little over to the left so when you pause it you know it's not being obstructed by anything in any situation when you pause it or anything that's where i keep it but you do you now to change the size of the overlay you go back to f6 and type in controller size capital s space you can pick between one or two. One will make it small, and controller size two will make it slightly bigger. Quite a bit bigger, actually. No matter what you record with or what you clip with, you will be able to see the overlay, and that's pretty cool. You don't have to set it up for an, every individual software. And if you need more information, you can go back to the Backsmod website and just go back into the controller overlay, and it has some instructions on how to do certain things. All right, that's pretty much it. Hope this helped, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'm here for you, and okay, bye.